Hey, what's going on guys? And your Charizard here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hazardcraft SMP. And today, I have some cool stuff to show you as I've been doing some beautification works around my house and getting some stuff done. Some stuff done, sorry. I said that a little weird. However, I noticed a chest placed here recently, and uh, I wanted to check it out on recording for you all. So this server has gotten pretty bland, in my opinion. And then... It says, let's start a war, and I have a total of 64 free assassination attempts. This is quite intriguing. Quite intriguing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, because... I would love to start a war, but there's no one I have in mind to particularly target. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I do not know. And this is supposed to go back in my chest. Um, let me put that there. So yeah, let me just organize my stuffs. And while I do that, just put in my final thoughts. So, as much as I would like some fights to start, I think I'll only use these for separate assassinations. So like one person, another person, another person. I'm not going to use all 64 of them to start a full-out world war on the server. But, it'd still be kind of cool to get some people killed off. I, I don't know. I don't want to be super mean, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I could technically kill someone off 64 times right now. Like, I could put Shiny up 64 more deaths. That would almost be 140 for him. But, I don't know, man. I'm too nice to use all of those to uh, just cause all that war. So, as I was saying earlier, I have done some beautification things around my house. I kind of just accidentally showed some of it off. So, those things include... I made some cool little banners here that are in the shape of Pokeballs. And I love this. I might make a couple more of these, actually. And put them around my house. But, uh, we'll see. I also now have a Mooshroom at my house. I bought this guy, or bought the spawn egg for him. Uh three, four episodes ago, and I finally placed him down and named him Milk Tank, even though um, he doesn't give milk, he gives soup. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I just wanted to name him something in reference to Pokemon, and Milk Tank was the only thing I could really come up with. So we have a Mooshroom pet now at our house, and the third thing I did in terms of beautification is I made a Ponita pixel art above my stable. And Ponita is probably, in my opinion, the coolest horse Pokemon. I mean, there's Rapidash, but I didn't feel like doing a very complex pixel art, because Ponita is a little bit more simple. And it's a fire horse. So, I built a Ponita pixel art above my horse stable to kind of resemble the horses, and that this is the horse area. And it also looks nice right next to the fire-type Pokemon Ninetales. So we have two fire types right side by side. And that's a pixel art I took from... Uh, what was it? It was a side game. It wasn't one of the main games. But it's a front-facing version of it. It might have been from one of the Mystery Dungeon games I took that pixel art from. I don't remember. But it's uh, a front-facing Ponita. A GG. Um, but yeah. Other than that, uh, we haven't done much to our land. I told you guys last episode I have some things planned in uh, preparation. For, what the frick did I get so much? Yo, did the server just like die on me? What the actual heck? This can't be my internet because I've been running fine all day. Um, what the freaking? All right, I'm just gonna stand still. End this clip off is just rip because I'm getting like zero frames right now. Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I've done a couple things to make my house look better, and in the future, I'll be doing more. There'll probably be, like, three episodes that include a beautification clip where I work on my house and my homeland in general, but for now, we just got a couple things done, and, uh, we can move on to the next clip where I'll be at spawn, and hopefully my lag will die down. So yeah, I'll be right back. 
Alright, I'm back at spawn, and one thing I forgot to mention in the last clip, because I just got completely disoriented by the server lagging out on me, is I am now using that mushroom as my food supply, because in the past, I've either been eating carrots from my own farm, which is crappy saturation, or buying food from the shops, which has started to take a toll on my money situation, because I've spent it all on food, when I could just simply be getting it myself when I'm too lazy to do so, because honestly, I don't have any um, like animal farms that could give me good saturation like meat to eat. So instead, I'm using my mushroom for mushroom stews, which is also pretty good saturation. So yeah, now whenever I need food, I just got to run back home and fill up the 10 bowls I now keep on my inventory. But aside from that, we have some shops to check because I believe I've been making some money recently on... It was either this shop, I don't know, I checked them a couple days ago, and one or two of them had money. Uh, yeah, this one does, six diamonds and two gold nuggets. I think I threw those in there as trash myself, because <laughs> I'm dumb. Uh, and then the EXP shop, I know it's one. It definitely has monies in it, because this is a hot seller that everyone buys, and I do not mind that. So, yeah. We got four payments out of that. Cool. Um, I guess that's it, then, and I'll have to cut to the final clip. <laughs> and, uh, I'll see y'all then. <laughs> Alright, so for the last clip today, I'm back at my old house because i got some stuff to show you. And I apologize for, like, cracking up at the end of the last clip. I don't know if you guys could hear in the background. But I recorded my basement, and right as I was outroing that clip, someone was stomping down the stairs, but stopped, like, halfway, because they heard I was recording. <laughs> so I looked over, and I just see them halfway down the stairs looking at me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Because they were, like, stomping, and then they heard I was recording, and they just went silent. Which I thought was hilarious. So, we're at my old house for one reason in particular, and that is... Um, the purge. So we've already done one purge on this server before, and today is the second one. However, I, as you know, oftentimes lag when I record on the server. <laughs> it was proven in the first clip. So, um, I will not be recording today's purge because I'd probably be really laggy and die a lot, and I don't want to take some deaths. I actually would like to take zero deaths in today's purge. However, I'm still going to be participating, I just won't be recording it. Other people will be recording the purge, so don't worry. You can check their perspectives out to see how well I did. But, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my purge preparations. This is going to be my chest where I put my inventory. And, uh, the one thing we're doing this purge that's different from the last is... Items are not raidable, so I don't have to worry about all the items back in my normal house chests over there. However, I will still be keeping my inventory in a separate chest. So, the purge today is leather armor where one piece is allowed to be enchanted, unenchanted stone swords, and unenchanted bows. And you're allowed to use e-pearls, but no gapples, potions, uh, and flint and steels and stuff. So, I have a couple sets of leather armor ready. I have my black, red, dark gray, or no, this is light gray, I'm dumb. <laughs> White, blue, green, and undyed leather. Each has one enchanted piece, like the rules allow. I have Protection 4 and Breaking 3, Protection 4, Depth Strike 3 and Breaking 3, Protection 4, Protection 3 and Breaking 3, Protection 3 and Breaking 3, Prot 3, and I have a Unbreaking 3 Feather Falling 4 boot set, and the reason this is an unenchanted set, er, undyed set, I'm so dumb, I can't even, I can't even commentate. The reason this set of leather is not dyed and colored is because... It's the only one that's different from the rest. These boots are feather falling and fire protection. It doesn't have regular protection like every other piece. The reason I enchanted the boots this way is because this is my E-Pearl kit. If I want to use an E-Pearl, I'll have this armor on so I don't take any damage due to the feather falling boots. Um, and that's just a little bit of strategy on my end. We also have some food ready for the purge. Should probably put that in there. I have four E-Pearls because, sadly, we haven't gone to the end yet, so we don't have an uh, Enderman grinder. So those are just E-Pearls I've collected over the time I've played on the server. And then I have eight bows, eight stone swords, and eight stacks of arrows. 
they are all named from worst, starting over here, to best. So my worst name sword to best, and these are all still pretty good, even though I had to number them. It's not like I hate Zidane's Blade as a name. It's just my, I don't know, least creative. So we have, from worst to best, or least creative to most creative, Zidane's Blade, Slice and Dice, Cynthia, please sub, I won't sub back in all caps. That's more of a joke. Um, sorry, not sorry. Protection, Jigglypuff, and Waiting Until Marriage. My bows are Crossbow, Shoddy, Stay in School, uh, Protection, <laughs> Illuminati Confirmed, <laughs> Cyanide, and my best named bow is Totino's Pizza Rolls, because I might be immature, maybe it's just me, but I think if I kill someone with that bow and it pops up in chat like Shiny was shot by Ender Charizard using Totino's Pizza Rolls, it'd be the funniest thing ever. So maybe, maybe like I said, that's just me. And I've set my spawn uh, at this bed um, uh, instead of where it used to be, which is my new house. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this episode, guys. I can probably throw my diamonds that I got in my chest here. And let me grab my journal. We can write our journal entry. So, yeah. Let's finish today's episode off. It's a short one, I know. But that's mostly because I was going to just cram every house improvement into one video. And decided I'd do it as separate clips in three different videos. So, yeah, I, I think that'll work out for the best anyway, because I have a lot of things planned for my new house. I want to move the beacon, I want to set up a farm, I want to make some more banners, like I've already said. I want to design my front yard with, like, leaves and trees and flowers so it actually looks, um, like, purposely pretty, because obviously I live in a beautiful area, given it's a flower forest, but I want it to look really, really nice with some design. I also want to decorate the portal in a more nether theme, and maybe make an outdoor seating area somewhere. I don't know. These are just things I've written down um, on the side of my desk here. But uh, not on my desk. <laughs> I just wrote them on my desk in Sharpie. You now I have a piece of paper with ideas. So for day 43, or episode 43, we have made minor home improvements. We have prepared prepared for purge 2.0 and that's pretty much it i mean we made some money from our shops but uh, nothing special to write down in the journal entry so i guess i'll end it there this is an especially short one now that i think about it actually but um i hope you all enjoyed nonetheless next episode i'm bringing something back something i've been meaning to do for a while and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So until then, or whatever video I see you in next, have a lovely, lovely day. I will try to as well. And peace.